Now we've heard much about anthems this past week, but where stands the hardcore rugby supporter? Our North reporter Brendan Wright has found some out and out rugby people, and he joined them on their journey to GA headquarters. Move, move, move! Ball, ball, it's a kickback! Ball, ball, ball. Portadown RFC is a team at the very heart of rugby in the north, a club with a proud history of achievement, stretching back almost 150 years. Given the fact that a majority, but by no means all the players and members, come from the Protestant Unionist tradition, you could be forgiven for thinking they'd be fearful of going to Croke Park and to the home of the GAA. But in what's another sign of how things are changing, the Portadown members couldn't wait to get to Croker. Crook Park is one of those places that you've heard a lot about and I've personally never been there and I'm looking forward to going to uh, Crook Park. I've heard a lot of very good things about it so I would say it's going to be quite uh, some occasion. I've been very gracious of the um, GAA people to do it because there's been a lot of history behind it as well and it's nice to see that we're getting together and everybody can move forward. And so, two weeks ago, this group of members and supporters of Portadown Rugby Club travelled across the border to Croke Park. Clearly conscious, they were about to witness Irish sporting history and, in a way, be part of it. It's great that the Rule 42 has been abolished and that we are allowed to come here today and uh, it can only augur well for the future of sport in Ireland. Coming into a GAA club, two, three, four, five years ago, you wouldn't have actually thought of this. So, yes, it is a start to come down here. Shoulder, shoulder, we'll and, despite all the advanced media hype, it was clear this group of Portadown fans had no issues with anthems. We've got politics, we're all together, we're into sport, and uh, that's number one. Uh, to be quite honest with you, it doesn't cost me a thought. I think it's a great stadium and the pitch looks super. Despite Ronan O'Gara's heroics, Ireland lost to France, but then it was a case of bring on the English. This morning, the Portadown people met to toast what they hope will be a rousing Irish victory over the oldest of old enemies, the English. But hold on a second. Can these be the same people who are from the Protestant Unionist tradition and whose allegiance lies with Britain? It doesn't cost me a thought. The only thing I'm going down for is to see the match, to enjoy myself and hope for a good Irish win. Yes, I, I, I'm born and raised in, in a British part of Ireland. However, I'm going down to support Ireland today. and I respect both nationalities and I respect the both national anthems. And just a very short time ago, the Portadown Rugby Club supporters arrived at Croke Park ready to stand and respect both the national anthems, but hoping, of course, for only one outcome in the match, an Irish victory.